Mastrop and Sennheiser have teamed up to create the ultimate PC gaming headset. The PC37X combines ultra comfort with superior functionality with plush velvet ear cups and a noise canceling microphone. The angled drivers deliver clear, natural sound that can normally only be found in much more expensive headphones. At $119.99 and with fast shipping available, these headphones are an excellent choice for gamers who need session-long comfort and high-fidelity sound. Check out the link below for more information. Hey y'all, Moses here. Uh, it's pretty late, um, early in the morning on December 8th. Uh, we were waiting for the test servers to come up, and now they're not gonna because there was a problem technically, and they delayed it until 3 in the morning, and I'm going to sleep but I wanted to go through the test server changes with you guys because there's a lot of good changes in here. A lot of maybe, maybe some of you will like it changes, um, but uh, a lot of overall changes. So let's jump right in. I'm not going to read the preamble about early access, what have you, all this stuff. They're all very proud of themselves. We're proud of you. Thank you, Blue Hole, for making this video game. You've done good so far most of the time. So, okay, let's look. So test phase is over the next two days from the 8th this morning and until the 10th uh, at, at two in the morning. So it's really only kind of like a day and a half. So uh, all game modes will be available, solo, duo, and squad, first and third person. So now we'll jump into the changes. So they redesigned the lobby background and UI. I saw some of it, I wasn't able to log in, but I saw some of it and it looks really nice. Some menu options will be hidden for this test server due to them still being worked on. Uh, so Miramar, obviously the new desert map is coming in. Uh, only two weather modes, clear and sunrise, so that'll be nice. No fog or rain on the desert map. Uh, vaulting and climbing will be even more useful when crossing the Miramar terrain. Players can experience highly tactical battles that will force them to utilize their cover and, conce uh, cover and concealment skills. So more urban fighting probably. Um, Off-road driving is now different from on-road driving, so that the, the vehicles are going to be handling differently. So... Um, interesting change there. Obviously all the new weapons we talked about, the revolver, the Winchester, and the sawed off shotgun. So the revolver and the Winchester both shoot 45 caliber rounds. Uh, the six bullet revolver can now have a red dot as well as a speed loader. Um, and the Winchester 94 is a high damage, but no attachments rifle. So it's effective mid, it's mid range effective with slow reload speed but high damage. So mid range precision gunfighting. So, um, sounds cool. I think that sounds super sweet. I don't know how fast it'll, the action will be, but if it does like, I guess it would say like 38 or 40 damage. I mean, that's kind of like an AR. So I don't know. I, I guess we'll see how, what they mean by high damage. Uh, so the sawed off shotgun is 12 gauge buckshot and the two shells can be loaded. No attachments. It has a short range and high dispersion. So lots of spread, uh, lower damage than the other shotguns, but can fire in rapid succession. So probably a two shot kill, um, probably a two shot kill there. So interesting. I don't think that sounds very good. It's like up close fighting is shitty most of the time. So a uh, new ghillie suit in the care package. So the new the ghillie suit will be redesigned for the desert terrain, I'm imagining. So the new vehicles in are the uh, the truck, the jet ski, and the van. Uh, for those who got mad at me for calling it a van, suck it. <laughs> uh, it has a low maximum speed, the van, and driving force, but it has the highest horsepower in the game. So I guess it could probably climb mountains better or something. So it'll be like a... It'll be like a battle van that can just drive up the side of mountains and shit. Uh, so the pickup seat, um, for, so it's a four seat off-road vehicle designed to be well adjusted for Miramar's terrain. Most all around vehicle in the game is suitable for various play styles. I wonder what that means. They're referencing play styles in the, in the vehicle. Interesting. I wonder if they recognize people's tendencies with vehicles and they're kind of, yeah, anyway. So the uh, jet ski. It's a good cornering and high mobility. So to do well in guerrilla attacks, what are you talking about? What is the, what are these tactics? Uh, anyway, uh, the motorcycle and buggy are also available in Miramar. They have different skins compared to the Aaron Joe, Aaron Joe cousins. So that's something we noticed in the trailer. Um, so now we get into the, my almost, Oh, please. 
Reduced the server lag of players moving abnormally. Rubber banding. Warping around. If that's if that is fixed, if that's fixed, I don't care what the rest of this says. I don't give a shit what the rest of this says. Please. Please. I can't wait. Uh, gameplay. Added the ability to heal and boost while in a vehicle. Only for the passengers. So that's going to be very OP in squad. This is going to completely change, completely change how the competitive meta is played and how the squad and how squads can behave in, uh, in almost every game. You can just drive around and heal. You can switch seats and heal in solo. Okay. Uh, increase the damage of the car 98 and the M24 and reduce the damage of the AWM, but they've increased the overall damage multiplier to torso for sniper rifles by 10%. So maybe they just reduce the AWM damage because of this torso damage multiplier. It'll probably still one shot kill level three helmets. That's probably not going to change. Um, but if they had kept the AWM damage the same and increased this, uh, the multiplier to torso, uh, it would one shot everybody all the time. So uh, they increased the overall damage multiplier to the torso. So the car 98, the M24 are going to do significantly more damage then because they have a damage, damage modifier increase on themselves and then another increase on torso shots. So car 98s and M24s might be even more deadly. Uh, they've increased the vertical aiming range in the prone stance. So you can aim up higher when on the prone stance and improved water penetration particle effects and adjusted the, the, uh, the blur for scopes. So interesting there. I'm not sure if they've reduced it or increased it or just changed it, but we'll see there. That's been a, a pretty common criticism of the new patch. Uh, so they redesigned the color of the HP bar, which is good because before it made no sense. Um, they modified the font for some different regions. So they've improved the sound effect of the frag grenade. I've heard it bug out, but I don't really know what this means. The sound changes depending on the distance from the explosion. For example, Players can only hear the explosion sound from long distance, but within 20 meters distance. Players can hear the explosion sound and the sound of the debris rate, uh, whatever. That's cool. So it sounds different now, frags. I guess I'll have to hear that one to understand. Uh, yeah, and lowered the edge of the sound of the blue zone. So now the rest of this is kind of like moving the gun around. Nothing crazy there. There's some other stuff in here, like transition between sprinting and running animations is now smoother. And that the animations and view modes have been tweaked in a few things here leaning animations have been improved to, to ensure consistency between ads and first person perspective i've heard something about that but i don't really know what that means but i'm sure i'll notice it when i see it um so you can jump out of the uh, of the plane with the world map open now um it's just a little bit of bug fixes here this one's this one sounds good too fix the and the unintentionally extreme aim punch when being hit so that could be that could be something that I didn't even know was really wrong, but I think I've mentioned that before with aim punch, but hopefully that means less crazy camera movement when you get shot uh, when aiming down the sights. So fix an issue where the teleplayer where, where the sorry where the player would occasionally be teleported to remote location while vaulting. Reaper no longer can shadow step to unintended locations. <laughs> that's 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 gonna be this patch. That's gonna be this patch notes edition. Um, so yeah, we get two days of this and then the next test phase will come after probably the, the gold build, uh, before release. So yeah, a lot of good changes, a lot of interesting changes. I think that that Medigan vehicles one, man, is going to be, it's going to be interesting, uh, because that changes a lot of things, a lot of things, almost completely changes the pro meta like overnight. I know esports ready and all that stuff, but it's something I paid a lot of attention to. So yeah, it's gonna, that's really going to drastically change a lot of stuff. So interesting. A lot of new stuff. I'm interested in the new the new weapons, obviously the new vehicles. Um, the server thing, though, by far, hands down, the most important change in all the patch notes. It didn't say eliminated. It says reduced. But if it's reduced, then hope, I just hope it's better. I just hope it's better. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think? Unfortunately, I can't show any gameplay tonight, so that'll be first thing tomorrow. I'll be playing on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash WTF Moses. We'll be playing all day, collecting footage, because I'm going away for the weekend. So, um, 
So yeah, come watch that tomorrow. Uh, you can also uh, check me out on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash WTF Moses. But leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Um, if you like the video, great. Um, I can't wait to play it. I can't wait to play it and I can't wait to show you guys. So thank you guys for watching. I know I've put a lot of, a lot of videos out, um, but uh, I will see you out there. Thanks guys.